feel to get back out there? Oh man, fun. Uh, the chemistry, the office was clicking at all cylinders. So I mean, just to be a part of that is something special. And I'm just ready to go to San Jose State. So you break out that one run during uh, 11 on 11. It looked like you put a little extra juice on the celebration after. Just how did it feel to kind of knock off the rust? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say rust. <laughs> But I mean, just to have that feeling, that type of emotion and the team to feed off that, I mean, that's just something special. And uh, offense came out and attacked the defense today, no harm to the defense, but I mean, that's just having fun, playing football, we just doing our job. How different does this week feel doing like a mock game week than uh, when you have the full pad practices for fall camp? What'd you say? How different does this week feel like mock game week versus like a fall camp practice with full pads? Uh, I mean, it's very different. Uh, we're going into more like a D-low week. We need our bodies for next week. And we're just being cautious to everyone's body and make sure everybody come healthy in week one. As a running back, do you want some contact over the next couple of weeks to get ready for San Jose State? Oh, most definitely. I love contact. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. But you don't feel rusty? You don't feel like you need it? No, sir. Not at all. I feel great. I'm ready to go. Do you feel like you had to do anything during that time off just to make sure that you're able to step right back in and not look like you've missed any time? Yes, sir. Um, my first step was get my body back right. I made sure I hit the treatment room three times a day. Make sure that I held myself accountable so when I do step into that room for the office, I'm able to go. No hesitation or none. I'm an older guy. I'm a veteran. So I know what it takes. Did you feel like you were ready to go for Saturday scrimmage? Yes, sir, most definitely. But uh, Coach Hill needs like, nah, let's, let's be smart about it. And I really do respect Coach Hill for that because I feel even better, you know, Monday. So just say thank you to Coach Hill. <laughs> you have played a lot of football and you played big time football. Does any of this feel new? Uh, no, sir. I mean, football is very universal. I mean, regardless of the scheme, regardless of how it looks, football is still football at the end of the day. So, I mean, coming out here uh, on the West, you know, football is not as heavy as the South, you know, but I mean, football is still football. You think you feel nervous when you come out of the Coliseum the first time? Oh, no, sir. You don't get nervous? Nah. <laughs> nah. How, not how, at all. how would you describe it then when you run out of a tunnel? Uh, what, the Coliseum? No, you're, how you feel when you run out of the tunnel for your, your first game of the season. I mean, this is just something that I do. I love the game, you know, and I really do try to pour, pour my heart and soul into it. And I don't make the situation bigger than what it really is, you know. Football is still football. And I got a lot of, you know, 10 guys out there counting on me. So being nervous and hesitant, that's something that I can't put in my game. And one thing that uh, Coach Heldon and a lot of other coaches talk about, the mental aspect of the game. Because football is just mental. And I feel like I've pretty mastered that, you know, being an older guy, and I feel it coming on practice day. So, I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing. Do you feel like you need to accomplish anything in practice just to, like, feel ready for that first game? Um, I say earn my team trust as much as possible. Uh, I feel like that was the biggest thing that I wanted to come out today. Um, even though, you know, you might not always feel 100%, but I still got to gain my team trust and respect, you know, and I feel like I, that's what I came out here to do today. Was it frustrating not getting that full camp and chance to do that and trust oh, and all that? Yes, sir. I was very frustrated, you know, but uh, I do got to put my pride to the side. Uh, we do got to go out there and win some games, and you've been talking about championship the past couple of four weeks, you know, so, I mean, just go out there and just do what I can do and control what I can control at the end of the day. Did you tell Drake anything after that move? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I got to talk a little smack, you know. <laughs> uh, the relationship between me and Barn, Bar, Barlow is, I mean, brother, brotherly bond. We're from the same area, East Texas. You know, East Texas boys, country boys at that. So, I mean, just to have him in the room with me, hearing about him in high school, you know, growing up and stuff like that, man, it's just amazing. And when he came in the room, there's no selfishness, there's no ego, there's no pride thing, you know. It's feeding off of each other, and that's what we do, and just do our job to the fullest when we're in the game and just play our role. Kind of amazing, two guys from East Texas down in Hollywood. Mm, oh, man. Oh, man, just out here in Hollywood, it's different. Uh, just seeing the palm trees, see, I'm not used to this, but seeing the palm trees, the mountains, the beaches, and able to come out here and just see different coaches, diverse coaches, and interact with people, I mean, that's just something special. Something that I'll be able one day to tell my kids, you know, so I'm very excited. You've been here only since the spring, but just in terms of working with Keaton, where has he impressed you the most? Oh, just being a veteran guy. 
uh, when he stepped into the office, you can tell he'd been there before getting the calls, make sure everybody's lined up, and to have that aspect on the team, I mean, that's something real, real special, you know. Quarterback is one of the most valuable positions on the field, and everybody know that. So when you got a veteran at that spot, and you got veterans surrounded by him, that could be something special, you know. So Keenan doing a phenomenal job, and he pushing the team, and earning everybody trust as you know. And he's been a leader, so. Cool. Cool. Thanks, man. Take care,